guys, what is going on? Today I want to talk about a random 30 series LHR build that I have that also mines Raptorium. This particular rig has a 3060 Ti, 3070 Ti, another 3060 Ti, a 3080, a regular 3060, and a 3080 Ti. This rig has randomly been going down. As you can see here, it is also mining on Raptorium and Raven at the moment. It has been offline for eight hours. It just randomly crashed and never came back up. Not 100% sure why, but I think part of that reason is this thing, when it gets a little bit warm, this rig, it doesn't like it when I have this CPU miner on there. Not 100% sure why. I have a water block on there, so the CPU never gets really hot. But still, when the temperatures kind of rise in the house in the day, it kind of shuts down sometimes. For some reason, there's no stats found here. I don't know why it's doing this on Hive. So you can't see where it goes down. But if you jump over here to the pool, you can see this is exactly where it happened. We drop down right here. Down we go. So it's been down for eight hours, sadly. Currently on Raven. What I'm going to do to lower its power consumption is I'm going to move it over to Ethereum on the LHR unlock, and we'll see how it does on there. So running on Raven, these are my memory settings, and I had core at zero. So this core was zero for Raven, and I just have it set up right now to move over to Ethereum. So correct me if I'm wrong on these. I haven't run a lot of these cards using LHR before. So for the 3060 Ti's, I'm running a 1500 core. For the 3070 Ti, also a 1500 core. 3080, I'll run an 1100 core because that's what I run my full hash rate cards at and there are no issues. And the 3080 Ti, I found 1200 to 1250 works well. So we're going to throw this one at 1200. Memory, some guys online are getting like 2900 for these. I've never been able to get that high. So I'm just going to leave it here at 1850. That's where I had it nice and stable on Raven. If everything runs stable for a long time, maybe I can start squeaking some of these up. Like these 3060 Ti's, I've only got 1600, 1700. I've seen a lot of guys get that quite a bit higher than that. 3060's, well, I'm sitting at 2000 memory. 3070 Ti, 2100, that seems okay. Again, some guys seem to get way more than this on these cards, but it was kind of crashing if I had it too high on Raven. So we'll leave it right where it's at. This seems like a good number. Let's move that flight sheet over and give this thing a hard reset and see how it goes. They are all on Ethereum right now, still doing nicely. You know, that rig went down. It has come back up and it's been running for one day and 23 hours, so it's nice and happy now. These clocks are all the same. I haven't played with them. If these can go lower, I've never run those ones on Core before, so this is my first time. You can see over here in the shell, we've got LHR lock 71.5. 38 Ti is at 71, and the 3060 is at 72.5, so these all drop down from 74. But it's running stable, and it's been up for one day, 22 hours, so that's kind of what I want is stability, right? You tinker with these things too much, and they go down. Bad things happen. And this one was running. This one has a 5800X CPU on it, which was running on Raptorium. I've since taken that off because I think that that was not playing nicely. There's something going on there. When I run Raptorium, it will just randomly crash every now and then. Sometimes it comes back up, sometimes it doesn't. So if it doesn't come back up, that is a big issue because then the whole rig is down. So without that running, it's been doing good. No resets. It was resetting every 12 hours before maybe. And then the odd time, it just wouldn't come back up. But right now I'm up to... Just about two full days with no reset, so that's perfect. That's right where I want it to be. That is that rig. That's one more. Moved over from Raven over to Ethereum. Let's look real quick on the calculator and see what it's showing. Here are the Raven coin stats. You know, roughly 220 hash rate. We'll take out power consumption just for the fun of it. Our last seven days, estimate income $132 USD on Ravencoin. Over here on Ethereum, about 330 mega hash a second. 
148 USD. 132, 148. So that's pretty good. We are higher income and it will use less electricity as well on Ethereum. So that's pretty solid. I'm going to have to start moving the rest of my rigs over. i got a few more to do, but for now I'm still mining a little bit on Ethereum. Sorry, I'm still mining a little bit on Raven. And I'm going to slowly move the rest over. That halving's coming up pretty quick. But at this point, with that higher income, it would make more sense to keep these rigs on Ethereum and then just transfer my coins over to Raven. Be more profitable that way. So that is what I'm going to do. That is that rig. It's humming along okay. Still not super impressed with these LHR unlocks. Well, mind you, they're pretty awesome how they're doing now compared to when they first came out. But I guess the one I'm not impressed with is NVIDIA for putting them in place in the first place. That's a pretty crappy move on their part. But, you know, not a lot you could do about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if what you're doing with your LHR rigs, if you're keeping them on Ethereum, if you have them on some other coin, maybe Flux or Fibro or something like that. Let me know in the comments. Take it easy. We'll talk to you later. Bye.